Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to run a TechIt server for 3.1.2 on your Mac. So what you're going to want to do, or if it updates, likelihood is this will still be the same, you'll just have to change it to 3.1. blah blah or 3. whatever. Okay, so what we're going to first do is obviously go to this website, link will be in the description, the Technipack website for slash TechIt, and we're going to download the Technic. Tech it, sorry, not technique, tech it server for 3.1.2. I'm going to put this in our desktop. Right, we're going to make a folder which we're going to put all of our tech it stuff in. We're going to call it tech it server because that makes sense. No spaces, do not put spaces, otherwise, that will come back and bite you in the bum later. I believe that's the appropriate way to put it. So, I'm going to save that. Then we're going to go to our desktop, going to go to tech it server, going to open the folder, which should just be finishing off downloading. No, 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 get on with it, there we go, right, open up Tacket server, underscore three point blah blah blah, and from this point it should expand it out for you, use whatever tool you want, doesn't bother me, I use, I use archive utility, but obviously you could use an archiver, move that to the trash afterwards because you don't need the zip file anymore, and then go inside the Tacket server folder, right, this is where we start having to actually do stuff, first thing you're going to want to do is go to mods, open this folder, and you need to locate neverors.jar. This file needs to be deleted, so no, you won't have neverors, but that's the only way of making the server run, not my fault. It just simply will not work any other way. I'm going to move them because that's bugging me that I can't see them. Come on, behave. Up oh, there, there we go. Right, so after you've done that, we need a way of launching it, because obviously that's for Windows, and as far as I can tell, that just doesn't work very well. So you're going to want to open a new tech it, text edit document, and this coding will be in the description for you, and this is what you're going to have to type out. Very simple. Hashtag exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash. CD, which for people that don't know much coding, is choose directory, which is basically just to locate it. Uses This, this is where you put your name. So for me, this is Ollie, but this is just going to be your username, your username on the computer, so whatever you've called that. Um, desktop. Ooh, not desk pot to top, desk pot top. So you're going to put that on your desk pot top, <laughs> and then we're going to go to the tech it server folder, and then tech it underscore server underscore three point one point two, because that is the name of the folders. So at this point, ignore all of the wrong text. It's all fine. You don't need to worry about that at all. You want to type Java minus xms 1024m that's if you want to use one gig of ram this is how much i use because that's how much i can use without blowing my computer up basically well not blowing it up but without it lagging too much so Ooh, sorry that would be if it was two gigs we want only the one gig still so and then dash jar and then the jar that you want to load is techit dot jar and that techit.jar is this file here, which is the one that is your craft bucket, but renamed techit, which is obviously your server file itself. And we don't need any fancy graphical user interface stuff, so no GUI. From here, you want to go to format. This is very important. If you don't do this, it won't work. Format, make plain text, which will just do that to it, basically. Then you want to save it. And you want to save this as in the... Oh, God, if it wants to... Was to give me the save option, that is. Did I not click it? Come on, there we go. Oh dear, no. Behave, will ya? Come on. Behave. 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 Why you no behave? Hello? A a anybody home, Mr. Computer? Come on, I don't do a save. <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. Uh, why is that not saving? Let's try again, shall we? Because we'll just copy that, close it, new, paste that, turn it into plain text format, and save it. There we go, blimey. Oh, that took far too long. Desktop, then we need to put it into our Tacket folder. Well, we don't need to, but it's obviously preferable. We want to go to Tacket server. Oh, blimey. Oh, God almighty. There we go, Tacket server. 
and we want to call it come on there we go start dot command and you want to save that in there make sure that's unicode uft8 save right right now that will still not work so what you need to do is open a new terminal window and this will be in the description as well for you to type in if you need chmod a plus x space now you need to find your start command and drag that into this window here press enter and you're done so that is going to mean that you can run it but it only means you can run it for yourself other people can't connect why because you need to port forward so port forward in part this is very easy again i'll put the link in the description to this website and you need to go to download the application we're going to download that to the same folder yeah oh no blimey come on behave tech it server tech it server 3.1.2 we're going to save it to there okay so that's downloading there download the application excuse me I don't want that. Alright, download.zip. We want to unextract that and the application port map should come out. There it is. Ta da, port map. So I delete the download.zip. We no longer need it. And this application here is what's going to allow other people to be able to connect. So what you're going to need to do is open port map. So click open. And here we go. Oh, blimey, it's remembered. We don't need to remember that. We can delete. Okay, so. I'll change my IP afterwards for those of you who oh, just gave away your IP. Right, we need to go plus. Very simple, see? Just, just simple as that. Plus. Presets, all of this, all the same. Just type in 25565. Description. Tack it. Add mapping. That is all you need to do. You'll wait to that. It'll go green and that'll say 25565 there. And we can minimize that because just don't keep it open and you're fine. And then from here, we just go start.command. This will load up everything for the first time. Okay. Just give this a minute or two to create the world, because obviously it's got a lot of mods to generate. And once that is done, shouldn't take much longer. Oh, come on then, pray spawn area and get on with it, will you? Do a tutorial here. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, that should say loaded zero save anchors created railcraft save file. Now, just to play it safe, type reload and press enter. Not allowed on a forge bucket server. Okay, so that doesn't matter, they've changed that. You can't reload anymore. It's fine, it should all work. Now, what you're going to want to do is open your tech it, go to multiplayer. And we'll also want port map open so as we can see what IP. Oh, it's lagged. Oh dear, behave, will you? On your best behaviour. Right, you're going to want to add a server. Ooh, don't click cancel, no. And we're going to call this local. All you need to do is type local host. And click done. And that is only for you. That's for you to connect and you won't have any lag at all. For other people to connect, they're going to have to type 86. Well, no, they're going to have to type this IP here on your computer. So what that is, th th that's what they're going to have to type. That's when you have to tell them to type in here. So for me, it's going to be 86.181.140.98. Oh, I didn't click. <laughs> My mistake. 0.140.98 colon 25565. You don't need to, but play it safe and type that in anyway. Then you should, as long as we don't lag on this, because obviously there's a lot of RAM going on here, it may or may not work. But it has. I can hear that working, and you can see on the... I would point with my fingers, but obviously you can't see. You can see on the um, console window, not console, terminal window, that I've connected, and it's just logging me in, it's just, just loading. So as soon as this is logged in, I can show you guys it's all worked and it's a tacket server. I can show you that the commands work, all of that stuff. There we go, join the game. It's going to load. Remember, this will be laggy for me. It won't be as bad for you guys, but for me, it's going to be laggy because I've got my recording so um, software open. I've got tacket open and I've got the server open. So don't worry about me lagging. That's bound to happen. It's not a surprise. Okay, so. Whoa, there we go, as soon as, as soon as that seems, set the render distance a bit shorter as well, just to make sure if we can. 
options, video settings. So we set that to teeny brightness bright. That's just for the sake of this video, so it doesn't lag too bad. So as you can see, we are indeed. Um, can we find some form of extra special tech and stuff to show you that's actually spawned that I'm not going to have to just. Give We'll see. Right, ores. Well, there you go. And as you can see, straight away, right there, is some copper. So that shows that it is a tech server. And also, we can. Oh, actually, I may need to do this in the terminal window. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to op in here. So to get commands, you need to type into your console window op, and then your, then your username. That will have op me, and I can now just type whatever game mode one. Game mode X1. Not game mode Z1. Game mode X1. Oh, there used to be a shortcut where you could time. I don't know what I'm doing. Flipping heck. Game mode X immensely X1. Okay, so I'm now in creator mode. I can fly. All of your bucket commands are working. So you can do stuff like fireball. Okay, that didn't work. What was it? Um, I don't know. You can nuke people. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, right. They've changed the commands for a while, but yeah, you've got all of these, you've got four pages worth. Oh, that's why I haven't installed essentials, but you've got you've got your basic basic bucket commands. If you want more, you can go and download them off the bucket commands off the bucket not what's it not commands, what is it? Off the bucket dev website, and you will add those to your Where's the plugin folder? Hey There should be a folder called plugins. There you go, plugins. In this folder, this is where you'd put anything you download off that bucket dev site. And I'll put that link in the description in case you want that as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll finish off in my traditional style in in third person mode. Smiling at my avatar. So guys, thank you all for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you a lot. If it has helped you, then please feel free to leave a like or any questions. Then leave the questions. I will help you out there. Um, for more stuff like this or for more Let's Plays, then feel free to subscribe as well and I'll happily go along doing stuff because I've got IOV partnership, not part directorship now, so I can do stuff for them as well. So anything on there, just say and um, yeah, that's it really guys. I hope this tutorial has helped you and I hope you're now playing Tech It with your friends. So um, I hope you've enjoyed guys and I'm sure I'll see you in a different video sometime soon. Bye guys.